Only gone and got a Brazilian. United bringing in Vinicius Souza. But who is he? Vinicius de Souza Costa is a 24-year-old defensive midfielder from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Yeah, that one. He is six foot two. He can also operate at centre back. I don't know if that'll be something that Sheffield United ever utilise, ever look to drop him deeper. But what it could be useful for is maybe in-game. If you've got the way that sometimes we play with defenders pouring forward, he could drop back in to cover when, for example, Anel Ahmed Hodzic goes bombing forward, which we've seen plenty of times with Anel do. So it could be useful that he's actually got that in his locker. He's right-footed and was one of those players that when you typed his name into a search, uh, let's say Ask Jeeves, uh, it said 60% owned by the City Football Group. And that's the kind of modern times that we are in. Uh, he's previously been a target for loads of clubs. Wolves, Bologna, Celtic, Club Bruges, or Brugge, if you want to say it like that, uh, Fenerbahce, but Lomel, and I hope I've pronounced that correctly, is where he arrives from, the City Group's Belgian club. And uh, Souza previously impressed during a season-long loan at KV Mechelen, but it was last season where he really excelled at a high level on loan with Espanyol, in Spain, the other team in Barcelona, Souza has apparently become an essential player in Diego Martinez's side after joining them from Lomel last summer, and they adored him in Espanyol. It seems like from everything I've read, they really wanted to sign him permanently and keep him. He is a defensive-minded midfielder who does have other attributes, and we'll get to those a little bit later. He has apparently said in the past that Casemiro is the best pivot in the world. Maybe that's who he models his game on. There are certainly worse players that you could choose to model your game on, a fellow Brazilian as well. Uh, Vinicius himself has already been compared to Casemiro, but he's also been compared to another player. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Souza began his professional career in his native Brazil with Flamengo back in 2014, where he played in the under-15 side. And he'd have to wait until March of 2019, so remember he joined in 2014, for his debut, Vinicius getting his debut for the first team, playing in the final minutes of a one-all draw against Vasco da Gama at the world-famous Maracanã Stadium. Head coach Jorge Jesus promoted Vinicius to the first team. The Portuguese coach praised him extremely highly, comparing him to his former player, Nemanja Matic. So it's something that they seem to like to do with South American players is to compare them. And it's not something we don't do, of course, in Europe as well. But uh, from what I read, he seems to have had a lot of players that he's been compared to. But I picked out these ones because I think I agree with these. Also, a report from Goal, the website, notes that Jesus uh, likened Vinicius to the Serbian international and took him on as a personal project. That's a quote. And Jesus had a considerable hand in developing Nemanja Matic. So you know, he knows about that player. It's high praise. And I think it's really encouraging to hear a kind of Matic-Casemiro hybrid. One can only imagine. Now, I'm not for one minute saying he's there yet and Sheffield United won't be signing finished articles, but they will be signing, as we've seen with the model this season, younger players who can still be developed and hopefully reach those kind of heights. Now, he only managed eight games for Flamengo before signing for Lomel in Belgium, a side that operates in the second tier. That was August 2020 for a fee of 2.5 million euros. After that, on the 1st of July 2021, Vinicius joined KV Mechelen on a season-long loan. That was a move upwards in the divisions, where he played 35 games, scoring twice and assisting once. But of course, that isn't his game. He's very much further back, a stopper. Uh, Mechelen finished seventh in the Pro League that season. By all accounts, he played extremely well, and that's why he got a move even further up to a, another higher standard of regular First team football. It was the 8th of July 2022 when Vinicius joined Espanyol on a season long loan. He played 37 times, so a pretty much ever present, scoring once and assisting 
once in all that time that he's been contracted to Lomel. He's only played 19 games for them, which I think it says a lot about this, this way the City group do it. Whether I like it or not is kind of irrelevant. That's just the way that they've decided to do it, particularly with this player's career. So he's been moving around. I'm sure he'd love a bit of stability. And just to stay somewhere for two seasons would probably be really nice. He could actually get used to his flat. In his career, he's played 67 times as a defensive midfielder, seven times further forward as a central midfielder. Don't get too excited. We're not talking about a player that's going to link up with the attack. And as a centre-back, as I've already mentioned, he can play there. He's enjoyed six games. Not quite sure how many times he's enjoyed them, but he has started matches six times as a defender. 98 matches then in his young career, three goals, two assists, 29 yellows and three red cards, which were all second yellows as far as I was able to ascertain. So he's an intimidating presence. He prefers to operate and do all his work from a deeper position. He is adept at picking out forward passes. Yeah, I know you're thinking the same as me. Could this be a more athletic Oliver Norwood, if we lose the ball, this is a player that can play like Oliver Norwood, but can also rush back if he does lose or his team lose the ball. He likes to move his team forward. His athleticism, it's easy for you to say, is one of his strengths. And as a key in the middle of the pitch, he protects the ball well in possession. Not just using his size, he's got that close control. He's a really neat, tidy player, which allows him to escape in those tight situations because he's clever with the ball, good at picking out passes, short, and as I've already mentioned, spraying longer balls, something he really appears to favour. That's very much, if you play football manager, a preferred move. Uh, he also has the ability to burst forward rapidly with the ball, often immediately after he's just won it back, and then he likes to launch a counter-attack. That's my kind of football. That's what I consider exciting football. I'm salivating at the thought of seeing this player regularly in the middle. I think he will be a first teamer. So let's go through his attributes in detail. He's good at dribbling, has a good first touch, a passer, as I've mentioned. He can also take a penalty well. We need a penalty taker. I wouldn't necessarily say he's going to be top of the ladder for who's going to take a penalty next. But let's say we go to a penalty shootout. He can take a penalty. A good technique, isn't afraid to tackle and get stuck in when, when required. He's aggressive as well when needed, brave with good anticipation, composed, excellent vision, work rate. And as I think I've made clear, puts in the effort throughout for his team and his team has changed every season. He'll be popular amongst his teammates, I think, for the way that he covers ground. He's got that tremendous stamina. He's good in the air with a lot of offensive qualities to his defensive attributes. I think this is an exciting signing. I like it. Let me know what you think about Vinicius Souza. I hope I've said his name right all the way through. Uh, in the comments, don't forget to give it a like. And we'll be back next time we're back.